This video will show you how to use a Windows search. Windows search is helpful because it can help you find documents that you might have misplaced or don't remember what you named them. If you click on start, you'll see over here there's a search option. You can click there. If you see here, there is a show only field that will narrow your searches down. I'm going to go ahead and search for demo search. This is something that I actually set up. Right now I'm showing all documents that have to do with demo search. This will also include the content of the document. You don't necessarily have to name it that. So if you know that you had some type of Word document that contained a certain word, you can type that word in the search and it will show up here. Here I'm going to filter by email. I sent myself a test email with demo search as a subject so I'd pick it up. If you click on the email you can actually get a little preview here so you can sort through and find out which is the one that you wanted. If I switch to document up here then it comes up with all documents. I created a text document called demo search and this will actually show me where it's located. My documents folder can choose picture. I made a picture also. Search for music and I made some music also that is called demo search. And there's an other so anything not fitting in these categories will show up here. If this is a search you commonly do you can actually save the search by clicking save search. You're going to want to leave it in the default in the searches directory. I'll call it demo search. And click on save. Now you see it put it down here, which is in my documents under searches. There's demo search right there. I'll close the previous one. So if I double click demo search, it comes up with the results. And that's how you use search in Windows Vista to help find your documents.